Back here in Georgia today, dozens of service members left East Point for the Middle East. Their friends and family saying goodbye through hugs and tears. Their deployment coming just days after the U.S. ended a decades-long war. A day filled with emotions for many service members and their families. And I'm very excited about this upcoming deployment very anxious. Local Army Reserve soldiers saying goodbye to loved ones before deploying to the Middle East. We're providing communications and network support to the area of operations for Central Command. More than 50 soldiers left East Point this morning after a short ceremony. The Georgia Patriot Guard riders escorting them to the airport. We want to make sure that, you know, our country uh, stands behind our military. All the men and women that are willing to serve uh, put on the uniform. The brave men and women leaving behind friends and family to serve our country. I don't feel good as a mother, but I know he has a duty and he's committed to his military duty and that is what he's going to do. And I'm like I say, I'm here to support his endeavor. Three out of four of my children are military. This is the third time Cheryl Adams has sent her daughter off. I've been three year, uh, three weeks up and down in emotions about her deploying. Um, even though I have uh, seen her off so many times in the past. Following the U.S.'s withdrawal from Afghanistan, concerns of unrest in the Middle East. But these men and women in uniform ready to carry out their mission. This is my first combat deployment and I'm actually looking forward to it. Despite all of what's going on in Afghanistan and the other areas, I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to it. And of course, we want to wish all of our soldiers a safe trip and a safe return.